One night stand? I ordered two, actually. One on each side of the bed. Also, have the lamps I ordered been delivered? <laughs> I haven't heard from the manufacturer yet. What the hell? I'm asking if you want to have sex with me. I ordered two night stands a couple of weeks ago, and they still haven't arrived. I've been told it'll be five business days. Two night stands? <laughs> now I get it. It's a pandemic. So? But I've got a pile of books by my bed, and it's getting uncomfortable. I stubbed my toe getting up this morning. Do you want to have sex with me or not? I, I need them delivered ASAP. Could you take care of that? How could I? If you can suck my ding dong. I don't know. It's your job. I already paid, doll. <laughs> Do you want to suck my ding dong? See to it or lawyer up. I'll see you in small claims court. What the hell? This is fraud, I'll have you know. I want my money back. And I'm keeping the stands if they arrive. It wasn't me, lol. You're the one asking me about the contents of my order. Can you send me proof? <laughs> if the lamps arrive before the night stands, what then? You can't just shake your responsibility off like that. You're sick. <laughs> I'll need to take a look for the receipt. It might take a little while. Just go and see a mental doctor. I'm not sick. I want my freaking furniture. Shut the hell up. That's it. I've screenshotted the whole conversation. My lawyer will contact you. I'll see you in court. <laughs> All I want is my nightstand. That was so fair enough. They started it. They were talking about a one night stand <laughs> when I actually ordered two. There's something sort of wholesome about playing with these guys like that. Well, you know... <laughs> That's probably the only way you should play with these guys. Welcome back, everyone. Hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning back in. Praying Mantis, the subreddit where the hunter becomes the hunted. This is a whole bunch like creepy private messages, except this subreddit is all about getting back at the creepy guys <laughs> and all the funny responses to their creepy messages. It's a beautiful concept. It's a beautiful subreddit, and I'm so excited. Hope you guys are doing incredible. Hope you're having a great day so far. I'm going bloody awesome. My videos have been doing really well lately. Everybody seems to be enjoying them. It makes me so happy. I'm just excited for everything to come. I'm excited for right now too. I'm trying to make sure that I live in the moment and appreciate the moment. So yeah, I'm going good. Hope you all are too. Let's jump into some praying mantis. Unrelated, but I'm curious. Are you slim, average, or big? Unrelated, but I'm curious. Are you rich, working class, or poor? In what way am I slim, average, or big? What are you talking about? That's what I love about these messages. I don't understand them in the slightest. Sure, 100 pounds for me to watch you wank. What? You send me 100 pounds and I'll watch you. Can you please watch for free? No, I'm not asking you to let me watch you, but you just watch me masturbating, please. 200 pounds. That's too much. 300 pounds. You don't get what's going on here. <laughs> it's like they're under a spell or something, like a horny curse. They're so focused on all their stuff. They're thinking through their ding dong <laughs> and it's very entertaining. Hello, want to turn into a real girl? Do you? I can help you with my magical ding dong. When I frick you, you become a girl. So that means we need to donate your ding dong to science to figure out what causes it. And then we can finally solve gender dysphoria. Maybe we can reverse it to treat trans men and use smaller doses for enbies. Get a scalpel. But I don't want to cut my ding dong. It's for the good of humanity. You will save millions of trans lives. No, no, no. I'm here to frick all of them. And I chose you first because you're cute. Listen, you have SCP-113. We need to distribute it. The only problem is that it is still attached to you for now. Oh, I'm afraid. <laughs> Fear is an important part of progress. Do you want to cut my ding dong with your teeth? <laughs> Ew, no, a scalpel, of course. Maybe I'd cut it after freaking your tight. Ugh. I'm not trans, though. Imagine the magic goes. I don't want to risk my sex changing. I want to stay a man. Ah, if you want to stay a man, you should drink my... <laughs> oh, God, no. I should first get the scalpel. Cut your penis off for the good of humanity. This is a moral issue. I'll never do it. You have a cure for gender dysphoria in the three inches down there. Frick the ethics. Three? <laughs> Better than years of estrogen. Three inches? Is this three inches? It says disappearing message on it. Yeah. Has there been any recorded case of a successful sex change due to your penis? I was just kidding. It's a joke. Man, you are just selfish. You're so serious or you're a master troll. If you want to know, you must try it. You're the guy who told me your ding dong is SCP-113. You're blocked. Bye bye. Yeah, you know what? It's probably a good thing that you're leaving. Bye buddy. Never come back. Mmm, I want to come suck your nip. Blank and blank and you doggy style. And slap your ass, man. 
make you moan and bite your lip. Random picture of a man. I want to decimate your ass with my mega giant ding dong. <laughs> you have to give them a taste of their own medicine. That's the only option here. You're going to come at me being all creepy and weird? No, dude. You're going to be the one that's creeped out. Why'd you unfollow me? You aren't slick. I'm watching your every move. Get a life, dude. Oh, this is my life. How sad. Yeah, but it's okay because I'll die doing what I loved. I love, love, love stalking and preying on people through the internet so much that I made multiple accounts to do it. Smiley face. It's a very rewarding profession. And then they send some random nudes. <laughs> Sheesh, you should trim that bush. You'll scare somebody away if you whip that out. <laughs> I've never read someone respond with sheesh. <laughs> oh, sheesh, you should trim that bush. Seeing that makes me grateful to be born this way. Sheesh, feels bad. Nothing a little surgery and a lawnmower 3.0 can't fix. Regularly, I'd say nice ding dong, bro. But in these cases, I'd be lying. And then another nude. Dude, <laughs> you've become the creepy one. That's what happened there, isn't it? Yeah, it was definitely them that were sending the nudes. Yeah, <laughs> like I don't reckon it's them. I reckon they're just random nudes. But dude, you've become the weird one. I pull you close, brush your hair to the side, look profound into your lovely eyes, arms around your waist, lips towards yours. As our lips make contact, the acknowledgement of how astonishing and dazzling you are shoots through my head. I hold you close and feel your warm embrace as the train car bumps through the harsh November winds. A light snow passes through the window as I feel a flat sheet in your left coat pocket and smell rose water vanilla and the hint of orange oil. I only wear Juicy Couture, I get suspicious. Ah, uh, what? <laughs> I read the letter in the coat pocket addressed to you from another woman explaining the sexual fling you had one night in Arkansas. The letter is written by a woman named Mary, but my name is Ermengarde. <laughs> I toss you out of the train window and into the depths of Glenwood Canyon. Ouch, I died. <laughs> a year has passed and I am now working for a celebrity who lost her daughter 30 years ago. You show up in Hollywood as the celebrity realizes I'm her long lost daughter. I blackmail you into marrying me with the consequence of me snitching on you, attempting to kidnap me a year prior. If we're going to do creepy asterisks, I want them to be like this. That was so much fun. Ouch, I died. <laughs> I love it when they go along with it. These creepy people aren't all bad. You know, at least they can take a joke. At least they can go along with it. I can respect that. Feeling frisky tonight? No, you? Yeah, obviously. Good luck. So you're just chatting, but not frisky? Exactly. Good night. Little monkey emoji. Today, Cinco de Mayo <laughs> with a tongue emoji and a peach emoji. Can I be honest with you? Sure, honesty's best. I really enjoy chasing after men. So when men just message me without having to make an effort, I just don't feel it. So you could definitely wait for me to contact you when I'm feeling horny. Eek, okay, I will wait for you. <laughs> That's the perfect response. <laughs> like when Bart and Ralph are playing hide and seek. Do you know how to play hide and seek? <gasps> Shh. I've been here two hours, and Bart still hasn't find it me. You give them a little bit of hope, <laughs> and they go away, and you just leave them there forever. Hi. Hey, how are you, sexy? That's not my name, but I'm good. I'm wet AF. You know, I hear chlamydia will do that. You may want to see your OB or gyne about that. No, I'm horny. Yeast infections will do that too. Do you have persistent rashes or pus-filled bumps? Redness and tenderness in the affected areas? When was your last cycle, ma'am? I suggest you be honest about your answers if you were to get your oozing pus filled twat checked out with proper treatment. Frick you. I'm just trying to help. I've never felt more gross in my entire life. These subreddits are not good for me. I don't feel well anytime I film these. Like, dude, I'm putting my heart on the line here, guys. Are you up for a naughty hot sex chat with a dude having a big black nine and a half inch ding dong and very, very horny? Hey, sorry. I did not want to share with you. I know you. By mistake. Sorry. I am deleting. Sorry, lady. Have a nice day. Bye. Okay, bye. I'm glad you figured this out. Bye. The title says, I didn't even have to say anything. I never talked to this dude, but apparently my reputation precedes me. Oh no, I didn't mean to share that with you. Sorry, bye. <laughs> Please forget I said anything. 19, male, what about you? Uh, I'm 15. What are you doing right now? Just lying down and scrolling through Reddit. What are you wearing? <laughs> this? <laughs> I hope you are. <laughs> Only absolute legends wear dinosaur costumes just in their everyday life. Dude, I swear to God, I'm not the creepy one. Hey, sexy, raw or rubber? Did you say raw? 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 <laughs> 
<laughs> you donkey! Trade picks. Sure, this is my dog. What kind of dog do you have? Don't have one, lol. Oh, a cat then. Negative. A fish? No. A bird? Stop. Squirrel? Dude, I'm not stopping until we trade photos. This is not fair. I sent you a picture. Now you need to send me one. Show me cute animal now. Hey. Hello, how can I help you? I'm going to be honest. I'm pretty horny right now. And I was wondering if you're horny. Ah, uh, I'm not. But I can give you something that might help you. The Holy Bible. <laughs> Please find God. <laughs> Hi, do you want to play TOD and stay on kick? Hello? If you don't answer, I'm sending a video. I want to take this opportunity to talk about something important real quick. Go ahead. Head. Recently, we hit a really amazing milestone, hitting 10,000 subscribers to our subreddit, Praying Mantis. That's incredible. I can't even begin to express how much I love everything about this. Your support helped us grow so big, and it's just amazing. Thank you guys so, so much. Hey, buddy, want to say something? A little congratulations, maybe? Congrats. Thank you. Anyways, I hope this keeps on growing, and I wanted to thank everyone who helped build this wonderful thing. Care to thank everyone? Can we play TLD now? That's fine. Do you want to ask first? Do you? And just importantly, I wanted to give out a special thanks to you slash us Axlo for making us the most awesome Manti Snoo and the incredible banner. Thank you so, so much. It's gorgeous. And I love it. I'm sure that everyone else does too. Come on, bud. A special thanks, please. Thank you. Can we please play Truth or Dare now? I don't want to play Truth or Dare in the middle of my announcement post. That'd be rude, wouldn't it? No. Oh, all right then. Truth or Dare? Dare. Watch a testicular torsion treatment surgery video and report back to me everything you see. Anyways, guys, I love you all. Thank you so so much for making this all happen. Loads of love to y'all. Mona the Mantis. Can I have a different dare? Over and out. <laughs> Dude, case dismissed. We're out of here. <laughs> like, just totally unaware what was happening that entire time. Didn't even bother to look up what Praying Mantis was. Or maybe they already knew what it was and they just didn't care. Really just wanted to play Truth or Dare. Poor dude thought he was actually going to play Truth or Dare this entire time. <laughs> Guys, that's enough Praying Mantis for one day. The hunter became the hunted. I love when people just mess with creepy people. It's so much fun. If if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash like, make sure you subscribe, and leave a comment down below what you thought. And as always, if you have any creepy conversations that you'd like me to put in a video, message them to me on Instagram, and I'll be sure to put them in a video. Guys, you're all the best. I really appreciate you all so much, and I'm also so grateful that I don't get messages like this. Today's comment of the day goes to just a person. I know Vince doesn't know a lot of people here, but this entire channel feels super personal, like we're all just sat on a big sofa with Vince and chilling. It's great. I know exactly what you mean, and I love that feeling. I feel like we're just a whole bunch of friends just hanging out and that's the goal. I may be talking through a microphone on the other side of the world but it feels like I'm there with you guys. That's what's so awesome about it. I love it. It makes me so happy that you guys think the same. That's so awesome. Guys have a lovely rest of your day. Have a lovely night and I'll see you tomorrow at the exact same time with two brand new fun videos. I'll see you then.